Scott. Scott. Rich here from Cleveland, Ohio. Go Cavs. Thanks for everything you do, Scott. Really appreciate it. Been listening to your podcast for a while. You are the LeBron of Amazon selling, so keep it going. Hey, had a quick question for you. I uh, heard about your podcast uh, a few months ago, took action after a couple months, sold out of my first product in a month. I was only making about five to 10 sales a day, but it was, it was a pretty good start. And I sold out a little bit too quickly. And as a direct result, I had no inventory for about a week and a half, two weeks. I launched uh, uh, the next um, batch that I got from China. And now I am not getting any sales a day. I'm getting maybe one sale every two or three days. And I've been in stock now for about a week. I've only sold three products in a week when normally I would sell them you know, before I would wake up in the morning. So I uh, still have the same campaigns running. I just did a few tweaks to see if I could maybe improve that. But uh, curious, you know, what uh, if I could do anything, if I'm doing anything wrong. I know, you know, it hurts when you kind of take a hit from running out of inventory, but I don't know if it's supposed to hurt this bad or if there's something that I can do. Thanks again for everything you're doing, man. You're changing lives. I appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, Rich, thank you so much for the question, and thanks for the props, man. I can't wait to tell my son, who's a huge LeBron fan, uh, he's been following LeBron you know, when he did the whole change in teams and that whole thing, and now he's back. So he's not technically a Cavs fan. He's a LeBron fan. He's more of a Heat fan now, but... Anyway, that's kind of that's kind of funny to uh, to compare me to LeBron James. Wow, you know uh, I don't know about that. Uh, I can't really shoot that well either. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you. It was kind of funny, and uh, you definitely put a smile on my face. That was uh, that was pretty cool. I can't wait to tell my son. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's talk about this. Okay, so you have uh, a product that uh, you launched and it, it was selling well, and then you ran out of inventory for a couple of weeks and then you went back in, uh, in, uh, you got back in stock with the inventory and then your sales aren't there and your campaigns are still running. And okay. So here's, here's what, uh, what I would probably do first. And I would need to also look at this. Did you, did you lower the, or did you raise the price to try to, uh, stop yourself from going out of stock? Um, that would be my first question. If we're sitting here across the table from each other, I'd be like, Rich, did you, um, did you, you know, raise your price to, to try to slow down sales. And if you answered yes to that, well, then I would say, well, your conversion probably went down because that's what you wanted. And now you, when you get back in stock, that's going to also reflect how you're going to get back into the ranking. Like, again, these are my thoughts, my, my opinions. Uh, it doesn't mean that that's hundred percent correct. It does depend on the market and the category and all that stuff, but that would be one question that I would have for you. Okay. Now, if you said, no, Scott, I didn't do anything. I just ran out of inventory. My conversion was the same. I'd be like, okay, well then we have to look at, okay, do we have other competitors that came in in that two weeks or did, did one of the other competitors start, you know, boosting sales or is it something that was trending and then as you ran out of stock and, and you got back in that the trending went down? Like these are all different questions we have to ask ourselves, right? But here is kind of like a strategy that I would probably play around with. Uh, first off, the pay-per-click, I'd get aggressive with that, okay? And the other thing I would do probably for like a couple of days is I'd lower my price. And I'd lower my price and dial up the pay-per-click, and yes, I'm going to spend money and I'm not going to make as much money or money at all, but I'm still trying to just get myself reseated into the rankings. Okay. And so, and I think even moving forward with everyone now all hyped up about, you know, this, you know, the, the big review change and all that stuff, you know, you're, you're still able to give product away at a discount. You're just not doing it in exchange for a review. Okay. That's the big thing. So if you have a list of people that, uh, you know, you've, you know, you've built yourself, uh, you can send out an email and say, Hey, for the next two days, I'm going to have a flash sale and we're going to run this at, you know, 25 or 50% off regular price. And you can either do that through a coupon or you can just go ahead and just lower your price and then just drive everybody there. Right? So that's another way that you could do it. But the bottom line is you got to get sales, right? So we have to ask ourselves, how do we get sales? Well, you would lower your price and then, you know, ramp up the pay-per-click. That would be my first thing I would do. Uh, and then I would go from there, 
right? And you might have to do that, and then you might have to go back to regular price, see what happens for a couple days, and then go back and do it again, right? So you might have to play around with that, but that's a couple different things that you need to do, I think, uh, to really play around with the rankings and see if that's going to help your sales. And again, I just want to let everyone else know that's listening, like, this review change is really about the reviews in exchange for right, uh, a, or a discount for, or a discount in exchange for the review. That's really what we're talking about here. What we're, what we're uh, not looking at is we can still give our product away at a discount. Okay. Or no, I won't even say giveaway. We can, we can uh, discount our, our items to get sales. And we all know that sales spike, right? The, uh, the algorithm to rank us better. Right. And if you're telling me that you were ranking, you know, well, on one day, and then you ran out of inventory, so you went out of there, you know, out of, uh, you know, basically out of the eye of, of everyone that's looking for that product, because they're not, you're not being found through that keyword anymore, you're on page two or three, well, we got to get you back there, well, how do we do that? We do it with sales, not reviews, we do it with sales, you know, so, and I know some people have said, you can still go out there and use review groups, just, you're not, you're not using them as a review group, you're using them as a deal club group, right? If you went to Slick Deals and you put your, uh, you know, your product up there for 50% off, I bet you would sell some, right? Uh, that doesn't mean you're doing that in exchange for a review, you're just doing it for, for a sales spike, right? So, I think people just have to think about it a little bit differently, and I didn't want to go on a tangent there a little bit about that, but I had to uh, because it's relevant, right? It's 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 kind of what we're dealing with and what I'm going to be doing in the future um, when launching products or even spiking the algorithm uh, inside of Amazon. Now, outside of Amazon, it's a whole other story, right? If you've got your, your uh, external traffic source, well, then you're going to use that to drive sales, and then that's going to help get you back, see? So that's how it can work hand in hand. Well, hey there, thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now, that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you want to go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you want to listen to any of those episodes, head over to TheAmazingSeller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to TheAmazingSeller.com. There's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just wanted to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. But what I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business. And this way here, you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.